guys, today I wanted to talk about ferret harnesses. In last week's video, we went over our ferret adventure backpack, which we use for hiking and going on adventures with our ferrets. But when they're on the ground, hiking, walking, just doing ferrety things, we like to keep them with their harnesses on attached to a leash. Now, I know some people have ferrets who would never run away and kind of stick by their side. Obviously, do what's best for your ferret. Sometimes when we're in like a closed off space, we'll let them run around not attached to a leash, but for the most part, we keep them with their harnesses attached to their leashes. Now, Hagrid here is usually a pretty good boy and doesn't stray very far. Creature, being as how he only has three legs, doesn't move very fast, so most of the time, he's not a worry of running away. Winky, however, is super, super fast. So we have had to chase him before when he actually escaped the house once. So he's not fun to chase. So he usually always definitely has his leash on. Another reason that we leash them is because of birds of prey. Where we go, there tends to be birds of prey, which will actually swoop down, pick them up, and obviously go take them somewhere to eat them. The idea is if they're in their harness attached to their leash and we have the other hand, there's only so far that a bird of prey is gonna be able to make off with them. Now, we're still very careful and keep our eyes to the sky because obviously if a bird of prey gets them, their claws can cause some damage. So we're always still very, very careful even though we have them on their leashes. So there's what? different ferret harnesses available and we have tried them all. Now, you have what's considered the H style harnesses because they kind of look like the letter H when you lay them out flat like this. And we have tried these for the boys and every time we have, they always end up finding a way to escape them. So this is Haggard modeling the H style harness. So I have it pretty well snug to where it's not like uncomfortable, uncomfortable, but they always somehow find a way to weasel their ways out of here. But they are little sneaky little weasels, so why not? Another style is the jacket harness. That's the first harness we ever used with our first ferret, Dobby. And while it sometimes worked, he still was able to find ways to squeeze out of that as well. Because our ferrets were escaping those types of harnesses and we like to take them outside on adventures, we were searching for something that was escape proof or at least a lot more escape proof. On this search, we found what was called a figure eight style harness. This is a harness that's just made out of paracord as well as like a little toggle. And after teaching myself, I actually taught myself how to do braiding for paracord and actually made our boys their own harnesses. So this blue one, which you'll see, they're all very, very filthy because they wear them outside a lot. But each of our boys has their own color. So Creature here has his purple harness, Winky has a blue harness, and Haggard is wearing his red harness. After successfully making our boys their own harnesses, and a lot of people asking about them, we now sell these harnesses. So we do have an Etsy store. Right now the shop has some specific colors in there, but I can do custom colors if you email me or get a hold of me as well. Hi. I'll include a link to our shop in the description below. So our boys' harnesses are what's considered a snake style braid. So I can do this type of braid like what our boys have. And I can also do this cobra style braid. These I can do either single color or double color. So you can see Loki's here is this green and yellow color. Now with any harness, I would say no harness is 100% escape proof. But for our ferrets, so far they actually haven't escaped at all. Again, I would still always have an eye on your ferret and I would never just clip the leash to the ferret and leave them tied up somewhere either inside or outside because again, you don't want something to happen with them, with them not being watched. They go on pretty easy. So we're gonna show me putting Hagrid's harness on. So you basically have a big loop. I have the braid on the end there and then a little ring so that way you can clip the leash to it. But we're just gonna basically put the loop over their heads, underneath their legs. This you want obviously on the back because that's where you're gonna clip the leash to. And you're gonna take this and we're gonna twist it and then come, someone's gonna be fidgety. And we're gonna come up through the legs and back over their head. And then the part that's on their back, you can see there's this big opening, which again, they can pull out of. So you're gonna take this and basically, yeah, I know you're getting wiggly, basically push that down there. Now, we don't like our ferrets wearing their harnesses when we're not actually like attached to a leash and walking around. So this isn't really an issue for us. And I don't usually recommend leaving your ferret in either a harness or even a collar. But obviously this excessive piece here, this is really gonna make it to where you don't want them running around with just this on, unattended, because you don't want them to get like caught on like cage bars or something else. But we have found this to be an excellent setup. 